This figure summarizes major acid-base disorders that can occur in people. Normal human arterial blood pH is typically about 7.40, with a range extending from as low as about 7.35 to as high as approximately 7.45. Let's look at lower than normal arterial blood pH first. That condition is referred to as acidosis. There are actually two primary causes of acidosis. One is a partial pressure of carbon dioxide in the arterial blood greater than 40 millimeters of mercury. Clinically, this is called hypercapnia. And typically, it's caused by the uh, respiratory system failing to eliminate CO2 at an appropriate rate into the atmosphere. We should pause for a moment and make sure we understand why does hypercapnia cause the blood pH to fall? Was well, the carbonic acid equation. If we have an excess of CO2 in the blood, that CO2 is going to become hydrated to a certain extent, producing carbonic acid, which will dissociate into protons and bicarbonate. So as a result, the blood pH is going to fall. Acidosis resulting from hypercapnia is called respiratory acidosis. The other kind of acidosis is caused by something else other than hypercapnia. It's called metabolic acidosis, and it's characterized by a arterial blood uh, bicarbonate concentration less than about 24 milliequivalents per liter. That's metabolic acidosis. Uh, the various causes of it can extend from excess metabolic acid production, a pathology in which bicarbonate levels are too low, or renal dysfunction. So we have two different types of acidosis, respiratory and metabolic. On the other end of the spectrum up here, we have alkalosis, arterial blood pH greater than 7.45. There are two primary causes for that. One is an arterial blood PCO2 less than 40 millimeters of mercury. This is called hypocapnia. Here the lungs are eliminating CO2 too rapidly into the atmosphere. And again, in this case, we're uh, tampering with the carbonic acid equation, but this time shifting it to the left. Less than normal CO2, less hydration to produce carbonic acid, less dissociation into protons and bicarbonate. Blood pH shifts upward. We call that type of alkalosis respiratory alkalosis. The other kind of alkalosis is called metabolic. Here we do not have hypocapnia. Instead, characteristically, a bicarbonate concentration greater than 24 milliequivalents per liter. This can be caused by less than normal metabolic acid production, a pathologic accumulation of bicarbonate, or some sort of renal dysfunction. So as you can see, we have four primary acid-base disorders, two forms of acidosis, respiratory and metabolic, two forms of alkalosis, respiratory and metabolic. One more point. Do you think it's possible for someone to have acidosis or alkalosis because of some sort of combination of respiratory and metabolic abnormalities? Absolutely. Those disorders are called mixed acid-base disorders. They're a little bit harder to comprehend beyond the scope of this book, but they do occur.